Chris, welcome back to my channel. Today's free plugin showcase is a Melder plugin called a Metronome. Now, you might be wondering what uses the Metronome plugin. I have a Metronome in my door. Let's stick around. After I do a quick run through the features, I'll explain a few scenarios where you might want a Metronome plugin. There's two ways that this plugin can count out the beat, visually or orally. There's controls to turn off both the visual and sound counts, a speed multiplier control up the top, and a tap tempo button that's independent of the project tempo. Going into the settings for the visualization, you can adjust how transparent it is, how smooth or jerky the movement is, and how prominent the blinking on every beat is. For the sound configuration, there are a heap of options. You can change the tone, as well as make the first tone a different type to the rest, and change which beat the first tone is on. You can adjust the length of each tone to taste, turn the volume up and down, and apply a special gain adjustment for the first tone. You can even choose the pitch of the tone, how the first tone differs from the main tone pitch, and even whether the audio is mono, fully white, or somewhere in between. So let me return to the question I started with of why I use this over an indoor metronome. My first justification is customization. There just isn't the range of options you have here in your door metronome. For example, the Reaper metronome doesn't have visualization, it has a lot less built-in tone options, and there's no width control. My second use case for a metronome over the stock door one is the potential for automation. Do you want to turn the metronome on only during a section of the track? Easily achieved with automation. Do you want to boost the volume of the metronome so you can hear it better during a section? Or use sidechain triggered compression to duck under it, another competing track under it? You can do that with their metronome too. Use case number three, making a click track. Once you've customized and automated the perfect metronome for your project, you're just a simple render away from turning that into a click track. And finally, use case number four, tap tempo. Let's say I've been working with a project at 120 BPM and I'm trying to work out what BPM a new sample is using. If I use the Reaper Tap Tempo tool, it tries to adjust the project BPM to that of the sample, which I don't want. I could use, say, a web-based tap BPM, but Romanian door is easier, so I can use their metronome instead and save myself the hassle. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll look forward to seeing you on the next video.